What's up? Welcome back to another super exciting episode of the Elvis Workshop. Today we're going to go over the February 1970 recordings that were released on the album called On Stage. First thing I want to say right off the bat is I do believe this is the only album released during Elvis's lifetime that didn't have his name in the title. It's not Elvis on stage, it's just on stage. Um, I could be wrong, I don't think I am, but uh, you've got Elvis in person, Elvis that's the way it is, Elvis in concert, Elvis Aloha from Hawaii, Elvis now, Elvis today, Elvis everything. So if I'm wrong, somebody else let me know, but it's every album released during his lifetime had the name Elvis in the title with the exception of this one. That's the way I understand it. So, but before we get started, I want to show you something here. So I made a video about the MRS label, Memphis Recording Service, and I forgot a couple of pieces that I have. So what I want to do is use this as a promo to to have you take a look at those videos or that video. So this one is a, a CD called The Greatest Live Hits of the 50s. And it's pretty cool looking. There's the cover, nice hot shot. Opens up to that. And then you've got your track listing on the back. And a nice companion to this is this right here. This is sweet. I got this at Amoeba Records in Los Angeles. Elvis Live in the 50s, the complete tour recordings. When this came out, it probably was the complete tour recordings. I don't know that it still stands up. Something else has surely come out. Pretty cool artwork, and there's basically a little book in here. I'm not going to flip all through it, but pretty cool. So if you didn't see my MRS video, go take a look. There's other cool stuff like this in there. And then I also made a video about the movie Elvis, That's the Way It Is. And if you missed that, I also forgot this. Fort Baxter, get down and get with it. These rehearsals are on the new That's the Way It Is box set. But this is the original bootleg. One of my favorite bootleg covers. Great cover. So, again, if you missed my That's the Way It Is video, go check it out. If you missed my MRS video, go check it out. Anyway, so... We're going to move on to today's topic. So you may or may not be aware, and that's one reason I wanted to do this video, is that there's a new release of On Stage. And it's way down on the end over there. Um, it's a beauty. So we're going to pull it out here in a minute. I haven't opened it yet, uh, but I've seen it online from other people. And I wanted to make sure that anybody that watches my videos knows that this album is available because I it's allegedly already sold out. I don't know that that's the case though. I've heard from several people that it's sold out. There's only 2,000 copies worldwide. And I looked on Amazon today, it still said it was available, but sometimes you order things and then they come back and say they couldn't get it. So I did see it on eBay too, so it's it's out there. Um, so, so in 1969, this album came out. Elvis in person at the International Hotel, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, by the way, I am a resident of Nevada. I have been since 1997. And for any of you that don't know, it's not Nevada, it's Nevada. I promise you that will help you if you ever come out here. It's Nevada, it's not Nevada. Anyway, so this is the CD and the record, uh, Elvis in person at the International. This is a great, 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 great CD. Awesome. Um, the Elvis box set. this one right here live in 1969 these 11 concerts were recorded and they took bits and pieces of it and made this record this cd record at the time and that's this guy right here so then in february 1970 they recorded some more live elvis and that's this right here so if there's any one downside of this album here is that it's it's it clocks in at only around 34 minutes in length and only 10 tracks and it's kind of a bummer i mean it's just a it's an awesome record the sound is great elvis is in great voice the band is hot to trot i mean everything's wonderful but it's over like that you know so but i think the reason why is that this one had just been released and then they released this they're both live both from the same venue and I don't think they wanted any redundancy. 
They didn't want Hound Dog on both, All Shook Up on both, Are You Lonesome Tonight on both, you know. So, and there were only so many songs to go around. So, that's the deal. This one here has 12 tracks. This one only has 10. You know, the standard is usually 13. Uh, so it's a little short and it goes by really fast, but it's just action packed. And of course you can flip the disc over and listen to it again. So this right here is the legacy release. Um, this is awesome. It's, it's great. It comes with a plastic sleeve cover that you can see on there. Maybe you can't. And this is pretty cool. It's this and this in one package. So it's the original cover from this album, but it's both both of these albums in one nice package. So that's pretty cool. If you don't have that, get your hands on it. This is a Japanese release. Again, original cover art. This comes off. So it's the original artwork on the front. On the back, the tracks are in English and Japanese. You open up the inside and it's a little different. The sound is exactly the same. Track list is, is, is exactly the same. No difference. You're not missing out on anything. I bought this purely for packaging. Again, I got this at Amoeba Records in LA. They have a lot of stuff there. All right. So this, um, this is actually is a pretty cool record personally for me. Um, so it looks like just a standard Elvis uh, the on stage album by Elvis, but it's actually a little bit special. It's a little bit different. So a friend of mine had um, a collection. Let me rephrase this. So when Elvis passed away, anybody that had any dealings with Elvis's recording uh, career were were given a basically a full catalog of Elvis's records from RCA to them. And um, so I have about probably 10 or 15 of these from the same collection. So if you look on the back here, it says not for sale demonstration only. You can find that on several albums. It's not something super rare, but this, uh, this particular on stage album belonged to the personal collection of Felton Jarvis, Elvis's producer. And a lot of people say, well, Elvis produced his own stuff. Felton was just there to push the button. I agree with that. Fair enough. But Felton did get credit for the, being the producer, and he put Elvis in his comfort zone and, and got the best out of Elvis that he could at the time. And uh, this was Felton's personal copy. So it's mine now, and uh, I treasure that because there's only one of each. So, and I have one. So over here we have a couple of FTDs uh, off on stage, uh, this first one here. And that one has a great version of Proud Mary on it. Elvis kind of goofs up the lyrics. And the song, uh, it, they're going 100 miles an hour, but it's just, to me, it's awesome. I've, I've played that CD into the ground. The next one is the onstage, uh, let me pull it over here, C uh, season, the onstage season. This is opening night and closing night, I believe February 1970, because it's the onstage season. So pretty cool, two discs, little booklet, which is standard with FTD. Nice box set. Standard 1970s shows, so you can't go wrong there. I think the life story thing was either completely gone or a lot shorter, a lot less awkward. 1969, it was a little rough, a little hard to handle. Sometimes just went on and on like, like me right now. Anyway, so let's get to the meat of this thing. So we're here with the new release. This, uh, like I said, is allegedly sold out. Um, a lot of people, maybe you watching this video, didn't even know this was out. So it's it's from the company called Music on Vinyl. And as far as I know, they just re-release old stuff. I could be wrong on that, but I, I think that they just re-release old stuff. And this is a numbered edition. Otherwise, the album artwork is all, these, uh, all the same. Mine is number 1,121 out of, I think, 2,000. So it's actually opened already, it just comes in a sleeve. So if somebody tries to sell you one and they say it's sealed, blah, 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 it's not sealed. It just comes in this, uh, it's not shrink wrapped. So we're gonna open it now. This is the first time I'm opening it. I've seen it online, so I know what to expect, but I have not opened my personal copy. I just got it today and it's damaged. That sucks. I don't know if you can see that right there. Brand new, just came in the mail. In a cardboard container, 
record container and it's damaged. That sucks. So, original artwork, nice and glossy. It looks nice and shiny and new. Okay, so this is a poster that comes with it. I'll open that in a minute. This looks like a copy, a reproduction of the original sleeve, what it would have looked like. And in here, this is the beautiful part. For those of you that don't know, red vinyl, orange label. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That thing is sweet. As soon as this video is over, the sucker's going right on that record player over there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. I'm going to show you the poster that comes with it. It's the original artwork for the album. I'll try to do this without wrinkling it up. Pretty cool. Nice big reproduction of the original artwork. Try not to bend it up, wrinkle it up. Okay, so that's it for today. Oh, oh, I forgot. There's a bootleg here from Good Times Never Seems So Good. These are recordings from the same time that this... Uh, material was recorded for this album. Good times never seem so good. So Elvis's very first live recording that was released as a single was from this album, The Wonder View. And on this bootleg, the unedited, undubbed master cut, the live performance as it was that evening is available. The Sweet Inspirations hit a not so sweet note here and it's, it's pretty off key. In the master that was released, you can still hear it, but it's buried deep in the mix, but it's still there. And on this one, you can hear it clear as day. It's not good. I love the Sweet Inspirations, but they, uh, that was not good. Um, but uh, this, this bootleg was extremely popular when it came out. I loved it. I still do. I listen to it every once in a while. So anyway, that's our video for today. Um, if you don't have one of these and you want one, you better get it now because it's going to be gone. If it's not already gone, you're going to get it on eBay. And it may not be cheap, and pretty soon it's going to be really not cheap. And that red vinyl is just beautiful, and I've heard the sound on this is phenomenal. I've, of course, not listened to my own copy yet. So, anyway, I hope you liked the video. Like, subscribe, and share, and all that good stuff. And then we'll see you next time. And let's see. If you don't like this video, it's because you ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> see you later.